We'll keep going. Uh, are you? Oh, he's, he's doing his face exercises. He's ready to go. All right, we're bringing him on. Get ready, please. Make him feel welcome <laughs> to the stage, Mr. David Fowles. Thanks, Paul. Uh, yeah. Uh, hi, my name's David. Yes, I'm doing. Uh, this is my first time doing stand up over the phone. I'm Woo-hoo. literally phoning it in. Um, uh, I haven't had much to do during quarantine uh, other than learn to move my arms and walk again. Um, I've been reading the boxes of snacks a lot um, uh, and really noticing that there are people out there who get paid, uh, I'm guessing, an extraordinary amount of money to just come up with dumb shit to put on packaging. Uh, This is my box of muesli bars. Um, It's most of it's pretty functional. There's 15 bars in it. It's value packed. Sure, I'm fine with that. But on the back, well, this, well, it says, this isn't just a box of muesli bars. It is. It is just a box of muesli bars. There's nothing in it but muesli, <laughs> muesli bars. Um, uh, that's all it fucking is. No, but it says, no, says Uncle Toby. It's not a box of muesli bars. It's a fucking ideology. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to read that this is, I'm going to read the, the Uncle Toby manifesto to you um, uh, loosely in the style, uh, in, lo- in the loosely in the oratory style of Mussolini. <laughs> this is, this is what it says. Greatness inside this box. This isn't just a box of usually bars. This is the fuel needed to help you on your journey to greatness. Each Uncle Toby's bar has more than a delicious taste. They're all packed with 100% Australian oats. That's in all caps, uh, if you didn't pick that up from the (laughs) delivery. Contain fiber and wholesome energy. Exactly the kind of fuel needed to help grow greatness in Australia. Whatever (laughs) that may look like. Hashtag great grows here. (laughs) What the fuck is this? fascist muesli shit. <laughs> I mean, that is a, there's a very populist speech there. Muesli Mussolini clearly wrote this, uh, who I call Muesli. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I've been so bored. Um, uh, I've really noticed how products appeal to our culinary racism. I mean, look at this. I'll show you the, the bold caps. 100% Australian oats. None of them, none of them dirty foreign oats. In our, you know, in our bars, um, my popcorn also points out that it's 100% Australian corn, which is handy if you're a corn supremacist, a <laughs> member of the member of the Corn Clucks Clan or something, <laughs> or the Clue Clux Corn. I'm not sure which is probably <laughs> equally unfunny, problematic. Um, <laughs> uh, but it really is like I, I, I get angry when I'm in the supermarket because I see words. And got, you've just added words to things compulsively. That's not really, it's what, what's this? This is my muesli bar, uh, other, well, they're not muesli, they're nut bars. It says, if, if anything ever has chocolate in it, they've got to fucking tell you that it's real chocolate. <laughs> I, 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 I don't, it's like, you know, and that's great. Cause you know, I am sick of all of that imitation chocolate flooding the market. The, 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 the Freddo forgeries, the, the counterfeit Cadbury's, the, the problematic rise of Neo Nestle's. I'm like, it's, <laughs> this, what's this one say? This one, the similar thing with real peanut butter. This one says, oh, thank God. Finally, someone is pushing back against the scourge of bootleg peanut butter. I'm sorry, this is, this is sarcasm, I'm better than this. <laughs> I, I, just, I just really fancy the idea that some marketing fuckwit thinks that I will believe that someone out there, Big Peanut perhaps, has spent actual time and money researching a cost-cutting synthetic replacement for peanuts, a product that is mainly famous for being the actual cheapest fucking thing there is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> then again, in this economy, maybe soon we'll be, you know, putting genuine peanuts in engagement rings. Oh my God, <laughs> you know, Kim Kardashian will have a particularly ostentatious peanut around her neck instead of, instead of just being married to one. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I've gone a bit crazy in isolation, but were it up to me, I'd round up all the people who work in marketing and just kill them, gun them down. You know, but then I'd be the bad guy, so you know you can't win. You can't win. 
Um, I don't know. This is a bit stressful, actually. <laughs> Some people drink to calm down. I just stop doing stuff. <laughs> just, uh, uh, that's that's a good place to leave it. Thanks, Paul. Thanks. Uh, no, wait. Yeah. Paul, who's hosting this? Is Thank it? you very much. Yay! <laughs> that was awesome. Good Thank you. Oh, oh, it's yeah. Paul and Paula. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. My brain. My brain broke at the double. Oh yeah, it is. The... It's Paul and Paula. Hey, hey, Paul. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Huck, I noticed there's a that there's a the definite anti anti uh, anti fascist sentiment going on tonight. 